I am completely locked out of my motorcycle. I can't open either saddlebag, I can't open the trunk or the side pocket, and I can't even perform the emergency start procedure. It's all my fault. I could have easily prevented this from happening, and I'm gonna tell you how you can prevent it from happening to you. This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. If you own a 2018 or later Goldwing, you could find yourself completely locked out of your motorcycle. Now, I want to thank Perry from Kissimmee, Florida for calling me this week and describing his predicament. And this is exactly what happened to him. But for the purpose of this video and for illustration, I'm going to pretend to be Perry. So I turn off my ignition like I always do. I pop open my side pocket door because I plan to store my smart key inside. And like a responsible Goldwing owner, I want to save the battery life on my smart key. So I turn it off. I throw it in my side pocket. I close the door and go about my business. It's then that I realize that because my smart key is turned off, I can no longer open my saddlebags, I can't start the bike, and I can't open the side pocket. Oh, and I should also mention, I don't have a spare key because on a 2018, they only came with one smart key. No problem, you say. I'll just perform the emergency start procedure using that little lock on the back of the bike. You turn the lock on the back of the bike, it'll pop open the left saddlebag lid, and then I can use the cable to pop open the right saddlebag lid, and inside the right saddlebag lid is yet another cable that lets me pop the latch on the trunk. Once the saddlebag lids and the trunk are open, I can now use that special code that came with my spark key to perform the emergency start procedure. And then I can pop open the door on the side pocket and retrieve my key. Oh, but there's another problem. The physical key that I used to unlock the emergency lock on the back of the bike, yeah, that's stored inside the slot on my smart key. And that's in the side pocket locked up on the bike. So when the smart key is turned off or if the smart key battery dies, or let's say the smart key becomes really damaged, the motorcycle just assumes there is no smart key nearby and it locks you out of everything. You see, your Honda Goldwing electrical system is always looking for that smart key. Usually within 10 to 15 feet proximity of the motorcycle and if it doesn't detect a smart key, it locks the saddlebags, the trunk and the side pocket. That's a good feature. And to their credit, Honda engineers even designed the saddlebags in the trunk where you couldn't close and latch them unless the motorcycle detects a smart key. Unfortunately, Honda decided to save $5 and not implement that same protection on the side pocket door. Even with the smart key turned off, you can close and latch the side pocket. Therefore, you can close and latch the side pocket door with no smart key in range. Had I just left the smart key turned on, I could have popped open the side pocket, gotten my key out, and been on my way. So what have we learned from Perry's predicament? Never turn off your smart key and lock it in the side pocket door, obviously. In fact, never store your smart key in the saddlebag, the trunk, the side pocket or anywhere on the bike. Always keep it on your person. If you put your smart key in your riding jacket, then stuff your jacket in the trunk and lock up the bike, only bad things can happen. If the smart key is alive and well, meaning the battery has not died, that means anybody can get in your saddlebags or trunk without you nearby. Now, if the battery dies while it's in your jacket, stuffed inside the trunk, locked up, guess what? You're going to be in the same predicament as if you'd put the key in the side pocket with the key turned off. The motorcycle can't detect the key. The bike is locked and you can't get in. So how do you prevent this from happening to you? Remove the emergency key from the smart key and store it somewhere else.
Yes. Tape it to the underside of the emergency lock cover or the underside of your center pocket door. Or you could put it on a key ring with some other keys that you always keep on you. You know that little tag that has the emergency code? Well, you need to use the camera on your smartphone to take a picture of that and keep that on your phone. Then remove that tag and store it at home somewhere in a file or in your desk somewhere else, not on the motorcycle. Of course, this is all 2020 hindsight. What do I do if I have locked my smart key in the side pocket and can't get into the bike? Well, first of all, it's virtually impossible to open this side pocket door without destroying it. You pretty much would have to pry the door open, breaking some parts along the way. It probably cost you about $100 to replace that side pocket. And that's if you don't damage any of the surrounding plastic material. A much less violent option would be to hire a professional locksmith to come out and pick the lock on this emergency lock, thereby opening the lid on the left saddlebag. That would allow you to then open the lid on the right saddlebag and open the lid on the trunk and then you're home free you can do the emergency start procedure to retrieve your smart key and by the way I just happened to have a video explaining the entire emergency start procedure I'll put a link to that video up in the corner of this video and in the description so remember Never, ever lock your smart key on your motorcycle. Keep it on your person at all times. Remove that spare emergency key, tape it somewhere on the bike or put it on a key ring, and use your smartphone to take a photo of that emergency code. Keep it on your phone, don't keep it on the bike. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you got any value from it, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up really does help the channel. Until I see you next time, remember to ride often, but ride safe.